Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk and poodlesjewellery.com because it's Sunday. South Hill and Stampin' Up! on Sunday, the day of the week when I merge my two working lives together. And today's project is a matchbook monogram keyring holder. And the monogram keyring, well actually just the monogram, is a South Hill product. It's a monogram screen that you would normally put them inside one of our larger lockets, but you know, I like to do things a little bit differently. So I've got another one here, I've got an X or a kiss, that's an S, and you put them on a keychain and it becomes a key ring. So I know that not everybody's into jewellery. Um, some of us with young mums don't want to wear necklaces because you know you get strangled by, <laughs> by little ones. Um, so I thought I would do something a little bit different and I actually do have an S on my car keys. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. It's so cute. Let's put that over there. So, I'll just my instructions. They're over here. You need a piece of cardstock that measures eight by two inches, which is this one here, and that is 20 by five centimeters. And you're only scoring on the length, and you score that at the one inch mark, four and three quarters, and five inches, which in metric is two and a half centimeters, 12 and 12.7 centimeters. That is quite specific, but it's so that you've got enough room for your keychain to hang and for your monogram to not get caught in there. So let's just fold that up and pop that away. This is very vanilla. The paper that I've used for this one is Timeless Elegance, and I'm going to use that again, but it matches with Sahara Sand and Basic Black as well as vanilla. But I just, you know, you know what I'm like, I like to do something slightly different. So fold the score lines and burnish them and then before you staple it which we're going to do in a minute to stop it you know all falling open we want to put the designer series paper on in the background which is here these measure this one is two and a half by one and three quarter inches which is six and a half by four and a half centimeters and then the DSP panel is just slightly smaller two and a quarter inches by one and a half or six by four and they just nest over the top so I'm going to stick that bit down first isn't the paper pretty? It's so lovely. So I've got to get my snail out. There we go. So pretty. And put this one on first. And this is a lacy pattern. And the place that you're going to stick it, normally you would put it sort of centrally. You want this close to the score line because that bit's going to tuck and hide away. So you want it closer to the score line. So I'm going to put my snail in there. So position it up to the top but where it's equidistant around those three sides and now when you close it up and put your staple there that's going to be perfect so stamping up handheld mini stapler and it is it's mini staples I mean obviously you could use full size ones but I like the minis and then now let's just finish it off so basic black cardstock petite petals punch and then the itty bitty accents punch, and I've just realised I forgot to get my handheld, my other handheld punch out. Let me see if I can reach it. Looks okay, I've got it here. Because obviously I want to put some loops, some holes in the back. So this is the middle one, this is one eighth of an inch. And just poke two holes, or punch two holes in the back. These are, I don't know what the technical term is, I call them snake keychains because they're like snakes, but they're like your bath plug, basically. So loop it through and the clasp is big enough that it won't pull through. This is the, this part here is what you loop it together with, so it won't pull through, so that's why you start off with that bit. Attach your monogram, I've got an X, like I said, kiss. Feed that through there, and somebody I'm sure will tell us what the proper name for these are. But like I say, I call them snake keychains. It just hangs perfectly, like that. Cool, huh? And then finish these off. Oopsie daisy. Just gonna lift those up a little. So back of your paper piercer into the middle and then I've got my basics pearls here love these things couldn't be without them especially as they're pre-glued makes life so much easier oh, I've got glue on one 
And then the little mini ones here just go in the centre. And then to finish, I'm going to put a little bit of a um, little bit of fast fuse on here, so I can stick some linen thread. And I'm going to cut off a bit. And there is a kink in it. I don't know if you can see that. There's a kink in it there, just because of the way it's wrapped around. So if you take your scissors and just run them gently across it, it de-kinks it. You know, nobody wants a kinky, a kinked loop, do they? So, okay, and just twist that round, stick it down, and then the mini glue dots for the back of these, and that's going to disguise any of the adhesive that's there. Have one there, I think. Yes, I think I'll keep it exactly the same as that one. And then, oh, actually, no, let's just swap it slightly. <laughs> Couple there. Oops. That's better. And then I'm going to take three of these. These ones that are on the edge piece here are actually on long strips, so if you cut three together, you can pick up all three in one go, like that. And position them there and that is my monogram keyring Stamp Helen Stampin' Up matchbook project. What do you think? I like it. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to speak to you soon.